two minute warning. Good afternoon, Bleed Big Blue Nation. My name is Marco, your host of the Bleed Big Blue podcast. At the time of recording this, it is Saturday morning. I should have this all up and published by noontime. Tomorrow, the Giants face the Eagles for the last game of the 2019 season. There are a lot of rumors circulating about Pat Shermer and Dave Gettleman. It seems like ownership might be split on which direction to take. Multiple sources told SNY that Steve Tisch wants a major overhaul. Tish was at a March of Dime fundraiser where a few reporters got to ask him some questions if he was confident with the coach and the GM. He could have said a lot of things. He could have said, we're rebuilding, this is a process, trust the process. But nope, I'll paraphrase. He said basically he was going to sit down with John Mara at the end of the season to make some real decisions about the future of the Giants. So no vote of confidence there. If you are the coach or you are the GM, you know you're on thin ice. Now, I'm not sure if those talks between Mara and Tish have taken place. The last game of the year is tomorrow. I would think that their mind is already made up. I don't think a win or loss tomorrow really means anything, especially at this point. It seems that Mara is on board with letting Pat Shermer go, and their main target is Matt Rule from Baylor. And to make this all interesting, Matt Rule doesn't seem to want anything to do with Dave Gettleman, but those are all just rumors. But what he did say in a podcast interview with Adam Schefter was that the ideal situation would be something similar to New England and Pittsburgh, where the coach has a lot of say in personnel. I did a video on that last week talking about Matt Rule, so I'll link that up. Please go check that one out as well. For myself, I think there is too much smoke for there not to be any fire. I think that there are so many rumors out there that there's going to be a change. It would absolutely shock me that nothing happens. I was also thinking now there's more of an outcry to let Dave Gettleman go, to let Pat Shermer go. To me, it seems more than the Reese, Coughlin, and McAdoo era. I wanted to see if you guys were feeling the same, so I put up the polls. They are up on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And at this moment, the results are split. On Facebook, it is 5644, saying that there is more of an outcry for change with Dave Gettleman and Pat Shermer. On Twitter, it is 6733, also in favor of Gettleman and Shermer. And on YouTube, it's the opposite. It's 6436, with more of an outcry for change with Reese Coughlin and McAdoo. Those polls will close tonight, and I will leave a link in the description to those social media channels. It's important to vote, so get those votes in. How I think this is going to end up, honestly, I've gone back and forth, but as of now, I think it's only going to be Pat Shermer. But we will see how ownership handles this on Monday. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Is it Shermer? Is it Gettleman? Is it Shermer and Gettleman? Or is it stay the course? Now that the video is done, we have a little homework to do. If you want to see more videos just like this, please hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. This way, when we do a live show or we put out a new video, you get the alert and you're in the know. I love interacting with you guys and keeping this channel growing. So please don't be afraid to like and share. If you would like to help support the channel, we have a line of merch out. And you can check out our other social media, affiliates, and all that. I left one link in the description down below, so it should make it easy for you. I will see you guys in the comment section, and also I'll leave you with two videos that if you want to check something out, it's on the end screen. Peace.